This video is brought to you by, AE Juice. Get ready to use professional and easy to use transitions and presets, you can get them individually or you can get it in a bundle. Check out the first link in the description. Hello guys, welcome back to my another After Effects tutorial, in this After Effects tutorial, we are going to create this. Here you can see, I have imported all the files required for this project, you can download it from below link in the description. Now let's see how to create this trailer title, create a new composition, I will name it as trailer title. Set time duration to, 5 seconds. Now let's add the text, here you can add any text of your choice. Here I will be using, Imperator font family, font style to regular. Increase the font size. Let's align the text to the center. Now make sure for the text layer. Paragraph alignment is set to center text. Now for this text layer, from animate, select tracking. Now at end of the time align. Create keyframe for tracking amount. Now at start of the timeline, change tracking amount as shown. Now select keyframes, change keyframe assistant to easy ease, now adjust the speed graph as shown. Perfect. Now let's pre-compose the text layer, here I will name it as text. Now let's add the texture media file to the timeline. Scale it to, 50%. Now let's pre-compose it, name it as texture. Select move all attribute into new composition. Now place it below the text composition, now for texture composition, change track mat to alpha mat text. For texture composition, in effects and preset, search for CC glass, add it to the texture composition. For CC glass, in surface, change bump map to, text. Now set softness to, 45. Set height to, minus 20. Now set displacement to, minus 150. Now in light, change light type to, point light, if you want you can adjust the light position. Now in effects and preset, search for CC blob eyes. Add it to the texture composition. For blob eyes, in blowiness. Set property to alpha. Set blob layer to, text. Set softness to, 8. Set cutaway to, 3. Now in light, set light type to, point light. Here you can adjust the light position. Perfect. Now from project panel, add the text composition to the timeline. Set mode to, add, now let's adjust the opacity, set opacity to near about 15%. Perfect. Now select all the compositions. Pre-compose them. Name it as glossy text. Now let's create a new solid, this will be our background layer. 
place it below glossy text composition. For background, in effects and preset, search for gradient ramp, add it to the background layer. Here you can set any color of your choice for the background. Set ramp shape to, radial ramp. Now adjust the ramp position. Now from project panel, let's add the particles media file to the timeline. Now set mode to, add. Now in effects and preset, search for tint. Add it to the particles media file. Now here you can set any color of your choice, I will set color of the text layer, perfect. Now let's add the smoke media file to the timeline. For smoke, change mode to, screen. Now press T to bring up opacity, now at near about 4 seconds, create keyframe for opacity. Set opacity to, 30%. Now at start of the timeline, Set opacity to, 0%. Select created keyframes, change keyframe assistant to easy ease, now adjust the speed graph. Here you can increase the scale value for smoke media file. You can also adjust on timeline, now let's create duplicate, of smoke media file. Now let's adjust the opacity keyframes, for first keyframe, set opacity to, 100%. Now for end keyframes, set opacity to, 0%. Now for this smoke media file, I will increase the scale value. You can see the preview. Perfect. Now let's create a new adjustment layer. For this adjustment layer, in effects and preset, search for camera lens blur. Add it to the adjustment layer. Now at near about 1 second and 15 frames. Create keyframe for blur radius. Set blur radius to, 0. Now at start of the timeline, set blur radius to, 50. Now select repeat edge pixels, now press U to view created keyframes, select keyframes, change keyframe assistant to easy ease, now adjust the speed graph, as shown. Now again create a new adjustment layer. For this layer, in effects and preset, Search for optics compensation. Add it to the adjustment layer. Now at 2 seconds. Create keyframe for field of view. Now at start. Change field of view to 80. Select reverse lens distortion. Press U to view keyframes. Select keyframes. Change keyframe assistant to easy ease. Now adjust the speed graph, as shown. Now for optics compensation, change orientation to, vertical. Perfect. Now for this adjustment layer, in effects and preset. Search for sharpen, add it to the adjustment layer. Now set sharpen amount to, 10. Now in effects and preset, search for noise. Add it to the adjustment layer, for noise, set amount of noise to, 2%. Now change glossy text composition to 3D. Now create a new camera. Create null object. Change null to 3D. Now parent camera to null object. For null, press P to bring up position. Now at end of the timeline, create keyframe for position. Now at start, increase position value as shown.
Select created keyframes. Change keyframe assistant to easy ease. Now adjust the speed graph, as shown. You can see the preview. Now let's create the cinematic frame. Create a new solid layer. Name it as frame. Now double click on this rectangle tool to create mask. For mask 1, let's change the path. Set unit to, percent of source. Set top to, 10%. Bottom to, 90%. Select inverted. Perfect. Now let's see the preview. Perfect. Similarly you can create multiple trailer titles and create your trailer. Thank you guys for watching this tutorial, see you next week with another awesome tutorial.